When people visit Alabama, what they eat is really part of that experience. So why not bring that experience to your kitchen? Plenty of people do. So CBS 42's Hillary Simon became one of them, learning some of Alabama's best recipes. Our special reporting, Taste of Alabama, continues. Hey everyone, we are talking about popular Alabama dishes with me. I got Ivy Odom with Southern Living of the show. Hey y'all. First, we got an Alabama appetizer staple, the fried green tomato. I'm gonna drop it in this wet one and then use my other hand to get into this wet stuff. This is one egg and one cup of buttermilk. For simple purposes, we made an orderly line, flour, egg and milk, and then the final touch. This is two parts cornmeal to one part flour. So basically a cup of cornmeal and a half a cup of flour. Let it sizzle on a cast iron skillet until it gets a nice golden brown. Next, fried chicken with an Alabama twist. So what makes a fried chicken good? Gosh, okay, I like to start with a brine or a marinade or a good old fashioned soak. Basically okay. you want to bathe your chicken. So. The secret ingredient that I was telling you about earlier is actually marinating the chicken in Alabama white sauce. Oh yes, white sauce, which is mayonnaise, apple cider vinegar, and spices. After it's marinated overnight, we follow the three-step breading process. Flour with salt and pepper, then buttermilk and egg, and then coat again with flour. Drop it either in peanut, canola, or vegetable oil at 380 degrees. My pro tip for getting evenly cooked and beautiful pieces of chicken is actually start from the whole chicken and cut it into pieces. And voila, a beautiful crispy white sauce fried chicken. Now, moving on to the best meal, dessert, which for us is banana pudding. I actually, I make my own pudding from scratch, not that instant jello stuff. That's and what I do. <laughs> but that's fine. If you want to take the shortcut route, that is totally fine. So you can make it from scratch or use the box, whatever you want to do, but then sour cream. So this actually helps cut a little bit of the sweetness in the vanilla pudding. Here's the process. Layer with wafer, vanilla pudding, banana, whipped cream, three pea. Oh, and sneak a wafer bite in there. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> when it finally came to eating, we had few words because, well, we were just too busy enjoying ourselves. Alabama recipes don't disappoint. Cheers. Woo! Mm -hmm. Can I get a stock of this to go home? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, now yeah. if I can only find someone to cook them for me. That was Hillary reporting. If those recipes look good to you, you want to try them at home, head over to CBS42.com. We've got all the recipes posted there. Voila. Yeah.